Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Metal Slug 4 for the Arcade! Well, technically this is being done off the PS4 because I couldn't get MAME to work properly for this particular game compared to the other Metal Slugs I did before. So I decided to buy it for 10 bucks off the PlayStation 4 as part of the, uh, Arcade Archive, I think it's called. ACA Neo Geo. So I figured, you know, it has been years since I did Metal Slug 3. Why not just give this one a fair shake? Alright, so you just get your controls right there, which... Obviously, since I'm using a PS4... ...may not properly reflect what's going on. Alright, so I can play as Marco, Theo, Trevor, or Nadia. Well, definitely you can play as all four, because I'm probably going to be dying a lot. Alright, so if you're playing this on the PS4, X is jump, square is shoot. Oh, nice. Dual machine guns. To use your knife, you just have to use a an attack from really close. Oh, wow. Look at all the bread. <laughs> and it gets moldy real fast. Press triangle to use your bombs, for which you have a limited quantity of. Anytime you rescue a hostage, they'll give you, like, a reward. It can usually range between two weapons or points, and you die in one hit, as seen there. Which you will see many times! Okay, I'm starting bouncing. Well, this protects me from the tank, at least. Oh, I want that rocket launcher. Rocket launcher is a pretty good weapon, by the way. It's too bad you only get like 30 rounds of it. I mean, if you got more, it would be a very OP weapon. I also like the heavy machine gun because you don't have to hold, keep tapping the attack button as much. But you can't just hold it forever. Oh, I forgot you were still tied up. <laughs> Luckily, because this is, like, an arcade rendition, I technically have unlimited lives. But if you were playing this on an actual arcade machine, expect to eat up a lot of credits. Now, if it's anything like the other Metal Slugs, there's probably gonna be, what, six stages in all? So this will be fun, all things considered. Oh, he's actually a good guy. Usually, it's recommended to save your bombs for, you know, Rocks and stuff. Oh wow, that's a nice jump. Get rid of that jeep as well. I jump the bombs. And there you go. I never really played a Metal Slug game on an actual arcade before. Have I never done that? Maybe there was like one particular Metal Slug game that I played once. It might have been in an actual arcade, or it was on a ferry. Like, I remember, like, the ferry that I used to take to get from Newfoundland to Labrador, because that's where my mom's family lived. And the ferry actually had, like, a few arcade machines, including, like, pinball and stuff. I forget there was, like, a one particular game that I really liked playing. That was Carnival, which was a rail shooter. Similar to, like, House of the Dead, that kind of thing. But, you know, with circuses and clowns. Maybe House of the Dead at a circus-like level as well, I don't know. Probably did not. Also, I'm noticing that, uh, part of the screen's cut off. Uh, let's see. Display wider screen, yes. I've done that before. I for keep forgetting you have to, like, return to those settings each time. Good thing I just noticed that. Oh, God. Some of these guys were burned alive. Ah. I wanted to do something about that bomb. So here's our first boss. You know, like, multiple layers, just like any large ship would have. Just keep taking it out bit by bit. Just watch out for any weaponry like that, see? Because that'll happen. Alright, we'll play his feel for a little while. 
Now, anytime you get start a new credit, obviously you'll get a heavy machine gun. But that's only if you start a credit. Not every time you die. I wouldn't mind if it was every time I die. It would make some levels go a little bit quicker. Oh. Oh. Oh, nice. Just watch out for the gunfire. Because that, that turret is still going. And there we go. They're dead. Maybe we're not as much the good guys after all. Just slaughtering those are following orders. No, 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 get in the back of the van, all right? The uh, hot dogs are ready. Mission to start. All right, just drop me off to the next stage. All right, you're on your own for these guys, all right? Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh. He might jump on a bit too late. Oh, Scud Launcher. Watch out for that. Ooh, I can ride it myself. Now, every vehicle that you're able to steal has its own health bar. So as soon as it gets to zero, make sure you jump out. Otherwise, you're going to die with it. Like that, see? That did not last long at all. What? Oh wow, I didn't think I'd jump over all those and then I get shot in the ankle and kills me. Uh, it is the Achilles heel after all. Whoever thought it would work in this as well. I was going after that chopper to try to shoot rockets at it, but I prioritized the dude with the shield. So that's why I kept knifing. I do apologize if like the, the mashing of the square button is a bit loud. Not much I can do about that outside of, you know, just don't mash. <laughs> but I'm using a gun, of course I'm supposed to mash. I'm supposed to monster mash. <laughs> he just landed right in my arms. Funny how that works. And I jump right into a shot. I I do that a lot, let's be honest. Ah, there, I destroyed your uh, mood poster. Should have paid for that OnlyFans subscription rather than just get some leaks off Pornhub. That's pretty scummy. But then again, there are villains after all. What the hell are these guys doing? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's like as soon as I jump, they just get a shot right at the exact time I was gonna jump. So there's no way to dodge. Oh my god, are you serious? I couldn't dodge it then either? Using a rocket launcher against general soldiers is a bit overkill. General Overkill is, would definitely be my name if I was ever in the military. And I'd probably be, like, expelled. Because, you know, Code of Honor. Or I play as the other misses I didn't get to play as yet. There we go. Dodge that little problem. Get out of here, you stupid planes. There, finally got some new ammo. Ooh, C. Oh, a heavy chaser. Basically a homing rocket. Definitely don't want to die with those equipped. Okay, it's gonna pri prioritize the enemies and, okay, it actually prioritized the missiles too. I thought it wouldn't. Yeah, get out of here, you stupid tanks. Oh, sweet, more bombs. Good, because I'm going to be needing them. Oh, you got to be kidding me again? It shoots the very second I leap up there. 
Then again, maybe that's my fault for constantly jumping in front of the uh, barrel of a gun. Maybe just stop doing that, Manga, okay? And just jump into bullets like another civilized person would. No mortars for you, alright? Still, what a lame bunker you got there. It ain't no Archie bunker, that's for sure. Even though these guys are a bunch of meatheads. Then again, Archie was the one calling people meatheads, not the other way around. What am I talking about? Like, that was pretty much the golden age of, like, TV for some people back in the day. Like, in the early 2000s, like, some people, like, would probably only watch Golden Girls and All the Family because that's what they grew up with at the time. And there were still timeless classics, don't get me wrong. But, you know, maybe I... Maybe don't take my word for it, because I haven't watched a lot of TV in general. And I sure as hell did not like Big Bang Theory. But then again, it's probably the in thing to say you don't like Big Bang Theory. And for good reason. Like, if you just want to watch, like, a, a show for smart people, about smart people, just watch Futurama. Oh, this guy shows up in other Metal Slug games. Okay. You gotta deal with a whole bunch of layers. And I have no bombs. I believe you gotta take out all the layers, or at least take out the very top. Oh, how did I dodge that? It seems a cannon, like, on the very bottom keeps missing you. Until you get burned alive, but it doesn't matter. Oh, oh, why did I walk back into there? That's dumb. Don't do what I did. Like, you know, walk into a bomb. Oh, there's still more to this tower. This old Tower of Doom they got set up. Right now, there's just no rhyme or reason to, like, who I'm playing as. I'm just going by the mood. I don't really have a favorite character, because they all function the same, as far as I know. Unless there's some uniqueness to them, in terms of, like, how they play, that I'm just unaware of. But I don't really think that's true. Wow, we both died. That was weird. Okay, there's the top part of it. I believe as long as you destroy the top, you win. Oh, God! That's a lot of La Bombas. Okay, okay. Slow your roll, guys. Slow your roll. How is not another layer not even destroyed yet? What the frick? Yep, you just had to destroy the top and it's an automatic win. Good stuff. Anytime you die, despite, like, how many prisoners you rescue throughout the stage, they won't count. It really just goes towards points. That's a nice snow! It's just soldiers. It's like, you just turn, like, soldiers into snowmen. What's wrong with you? Kids are just sick. It's like, look at these nice human beings. Let's turn them into snowmen. Like, hypothermia? We don't care about that. What's a hypothermia? I don't get it. So I just don't care. Did that bear just kill me? Or was it a Sam Squatch? Yeah, I think it might have been the bear. These guys will try to freeze you, so make sure you tap the button as fast as you can to get out of there. Otherwise, you're going to get claw swiped. You're going to get swiped faster than a kid's credit card. I don't mean like a elementary school credit card. I'm talking about like teen credit card. You know, when they're starting to learn them early. 
I don't think I've ever had a credit card when I was, like, a teenager. Like, maybe when I was, like, 17 or 18 I got my first credit card. And right now I only have two. Including, like, the first one I've had since then. Luckily I'm at that point where, you know, none of them have a balance. Or if they do have a balance, I pay it off as soon as I can. But for a while, I probably had, like, a balance spent of over, like, close to two grand. And then over the years, I finally will it down to zero. Because my expenses kind of went down, you know, with the whole pandemic and stuff. Didn't have to, like, spend that much on a monthly bus pass. It gave me a little bit more wiggle room. And I like to keep it that way. You know? Usually I get a little like, I gotta take care of this debt as soon as I get it. You know what I mean? Well, maybe student loans I'm not going too ham about. Because it's still like several thousand I gotta worry about. Like, I don't wanna pay it all at once. That'd be ridiculous. Now, if I win the lottery, on the other hand, I'll have hostage that away. I will definitely be paying off that student loan right away. So I like to say I'm at, le at the very least fiscally responsible. Okay. Even though some of my gameplay in this has been, you know, mortally irresponsible. Nice little tank there, bro. Do you remember, isn't he like the general of, of, you know, this group that I'm going against? Keep in mind, it's been years since I played Metal Slug 3, so I don't know everything about the lore. I just know that you're usually dealing with soldiers, and then at the end, for some reason, don't think it's every Metal Slug game, but they'll bring in aliens. General Mordok? Or Mordan? Mordor? Mordadella? I don't give a shit what his name is. He's trying to kill me, so I guess I gotta kill him. Or at least, defeat him and see if he learns his lesson. And obviously Metal Slug 5 and Beyond exists, so he did not at all. Oh, rocket to the head. That sounds like my next punk album. Wait, I don't have a punk album. What am I saying next one? Jump way too early. I would appreciate if you didn't just keep spamming choppers, thank you very much. Just stick to the chopper you got in the front of your tank. Rather than the ones you're just summoning from some helipad. And wasting like tons of money doing so. Also, I will say, that would make for a badass pizza cutter. Score 500,000 points? Wow, I got a trophy for that. i never even seen what the trophy list for this game even is. Let me guess. Just beat the whole game without dying once. Not, not dying once, or using a credit. Or use only one character. Good to know you have all-wheel drive on this truck. Otherwise, we would have been stuck many times. Wait, were there just coins coming out of there? God, I feel like such a crook. And every single time a coin was right there for me to grab, I would constantly be assaulted. So obviously I couldn't even do anything. Oh my god, are you kidding me? He's like, holy shit, she's a ghost! We killed her and now she's back? Oh my god, I got shot off the thing. I'm getting the worst of both worlds right there. Oh nice. Is that did a coin just fall out of the lights? I guess the only reason I'm still having all these points is because I keep using like credits that I've already spent. Rather than just allow myself to game over. Oh, that rocket just kind of 
kipped up there. That's a little mean, and I'm dead. Landed it right in the pan of the truck, though. Might as well put it to good use. I'm not necessarily a truck person, so I can't really tell you if I'm on Team Ford or Team Chevy. Ooh, maybe I should go up. What's up with these dudes in hazmat? Oh god, zombies. There's always at least one stage that doesn't have soldiers. I believe it was Metal Slug 3 that had mummies. If I'm not mistaken. And these guys will try to zombify you. And when that happens, you're much slower when you attack. Oh my lord. I think it's just like the uh, the liquid or the sludge that they throw at you. And I can't get in that machine again. Oh, I'm leaking. No. Not a fan of like the death animations being so slow either. Oh, that's just a person that was shooting at. It's not a zombie. Oh god, <laughs> the enemies are wearing hazmat suits, because they don't want to get infected. Wait, what killed me? What, that was weird. I don't think it was the lightning. I may be a zombie, but I still know how to use a gun. Instead of brains, I just say bullets. Bullets! Yeah, maybe if a zombie dies, it leaves behind an explosion that will zombify you. And I'm sick of enemies just like constantly trying to infect you and stuff. Oh my god, I got zombified again! Just like playing Oblivion, as soon as you get attacked by a vampire, you get real paranoid because you don't want to contract the uh, virus or become a vampire. Although that would make for an interesting like mode, just play, like if you're doing an Oblivion run, just turn into a vampire on purpose. Can I get this please? Thank you. Oh yeah, flames will definitely work well against zombies. Are you kidding me? I still got hit by that. Oh no, it got on the callus of my heel and now I'm a zombie completely. Because that's how it works. Look how many zombies there are! It's like Resident Evil on steroids. Because at least in Resident Evil, you can probably take a couple of hits before you're dead. Another thing I don't like about this is that the transition from human to zombie takes like quite a few seconds. Oh my god, I didn't realize I had a blood spray. And usually you don't know what kills you until it's too late. Yeah, I think they're just diving at me. That's probably it. God damn it! And again, I'm zombified. There. Devour my blood spray. I had Chipotle and it came out the wrong end. Oh jeez, what is that? It's a crane game for Mario Party! No, it's not, it's a robot. Okay, that laser, does it convert you into a zombie? I really hope not. At least it's pretty easy to dodge. No, you ain't knifing me. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh! Should have jumped. Uh, doesn't look like I can just hit the robot's head. Maybe not until the crane is destroyed. Yeah, see? 
Like, I'm clearly hitting it at some points, but it just doesn't want to take damage! God, this resistance really needs soldiers that are less frail. Have you ever thought of that? Or is that just too much money? Probably don't have enough, like, raised for the budget to get some super soldiers. It seems that's too much to ask. Okay, now the crane's destroyed, and... Now what? Oh! A single-shot cannon! Well, it's easy to shoot at. The problem is, I can't use my bombs on it. Okay, I can use the bombs on this. Oh god. I don't like the look of that liquid. I don't know what the blue stuff does. But I think blue is safer for you than the yellow. Blue is probably just what they use for, like, those uh, maxi pack commercials. Like, you know, that mysterious blue liquid? And yellow, of course, is just a jar of soldier piss. Crank that soldier piss and super soak that. <laughs> I don't think I really want to commit to that Soldier Boy reference, because, you know, he's not exactly on great terms with the gaming community. Like, you know, copyright infringement on trying to create your own console and all that jazz. There's already enough of that there on the market. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Someone should teach Soldier Boy what a Raspberry Pi is. Finally! Got the damn thing. Oh, I'm low on credits. Okay, we'll put you in a box with no air holes. Oh, oh my god, now she's dead. Okay. Let's stop the video here, and in the next episode, we'll continue on with stage five. See you later, everyone. Thanks for watching.